hello everyone so today we are going to work on how to add this uh, HDRI backdrop into the inventory stage that we are working on and also we are going to modify the camera systems lens and field of views so we can better showcase the we will have a better angle of the weapons when the character has equipped them and they will look much better so here you can see the changed cameras now you can see if I equip the shield it's properly showcased here and when I go back to the main inventory you can see still the weapons are visible we have a good better angle than what we had before and yeah so main focus is adding this backdrop HDRI backdrop and making it work with the energy system okay so let's see how to do that in this episode let me show you a quick sneak peek so here this is what we have now this is the inventory stage so here you can see a mesh that i have added with this uh, hdri backdrop so this is what you're going to work on okay so before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects once you become a member in my patreon page so i'll leave the link in description below to the page and this is a part of this section rpg with gameplay ability system series so you can watch all other episodes as well in my channel i'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description and let's get back to today's episode okay so right now in the inventory this is what i have if i press f8 and detach from the camera you can see all i have is just just this platform like this so this is not a this is not exactly what i want i need something more than this just plain wall so i am going to use a hdri backdrop for this so here if you enable the hdri backdrop plugin now we have to restart okay now after i have restarted the project if i start typing this hdri backdrop you can get something like this now this is actually just some uh, dome like mesh that is internally it has a face and a hdri image is applied as the material that's what we have here so i'm not going to use this i'm just going to get this geometry mesh in Vero dome oh that's the mesh so here let me go to the location okay and now i'm gonna copy this to my inventory order inventory dom i'll name it sm inventory dom and i'll let me open my inventory and here i'll delete this wall and attach drag and drop this uh, inventory dom mesh now as you can see it's too small and also we don't need any collisions for this so i'll set it to no collisions and scale maybe 40 we can change if it is not enough it should be enough now this is what we have and this let me push it down a little bit ok 
Okay. All right. Now here, if I now go to the inventory, you can see. You can already see the uh, the dome mesh, but it doesn't have a proper material. Now make it clearly visible. Let me just disable this uh, reference image. I'll make it. this Why is that still there okay now here this is what you see okay now all I need to do is apply in a proper backdrop instead of what we have here so again if I go to the HDRI backdrop here you have a create material and in my HDRI sky so this is the material instance that the this HDRI backdrop is using so I'll let me this is the material projection sky projection flow let me copy these materials again to the inventory oh sorry I should not have moved because this is from a yeah good let me move it back that was it okay okay that's fixed all right now go back here I have a copy of those materials so this is a sky this is floor now floor is, I think floor is the first one we can check it here Flow is index 0, sky is index 1. Okay, so flow and sky. Alright, now we need a proper material, proper texture here. So I have, uh, uh, let's create a material instance for the sky and the uh, flow so it's easy for me to modify and now you can see we have an option to change the HDRI map so if I type HDRI I don't see anything but uh, there is a nice this nice site that we can download HDRI maps so from that I have downloaded one of the HDRIs so let me import it here let's create a new folder materials map tax materials and textures Oh, let's just say assets, just a common name. Okay, now let me apply this one. Okay, now here you see that uh, material is applied. I'll apply the same for 
the flow as well and here you see this intensity variable let's let's reduce this to something like 0.1 yeah now we can see the details also change it just to 0.1 okay now it looks better all right now let's see if i play the game and switch now we have a nice sky in the background it doesn't exactly match the style of the level but i just want to show you how to do this so later on we can change it with the proper image if i can find or create one okay now the next step is uh, I just want to modify this here when I have the weapons it doesn't look nice they're not clear enough so I need to see the full character and the weapons so here the main one I increase this to something like 500 and then in the camera we can reduce the field of view so we wouldn't see the character in a smaller scale let's see see we see the character in the same way but if I put a weapon now the weapon is there and I need to modify the other spring arms as well. Still, we can relatively see the character properly. Okay. And for this to as well, let's try 700. Actually, I tested these values. These values kind of works. okay I like the way it looks right now let's disable the UI's images for the right hand weapon Oh, we don't need to do that because it's a child so it's already there okay we have a lot of white space here maybe I should do something about that but not now but if we have some more details like when I hover over here I need to show the details of this weapon so when I have that this should look okay for now it looks empty now one more thing here I don't see much details of the sky now so if I can rotate it a bit maybe I can get some details but Oh, we have this HDRI angle. Mm. How about something like 30? No? Oh, I was changing for flow. okay so I think that's all I want to do in this episode I further reduced this value 
0 0.02 I think I like it a bit darker yeah okay so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and next time i think we should work on how to collect weapons in the world maybe like after completing a level completing a mission or a quest a player may be granted with a new weapon or something and that should be added to the inventory and let's see how to add that to inventory structure and then how to retrieve those uh, collected weapons and show them in the ui i need to show work on those things in upcoming episode so stay tuned for that and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next episode goodbye